Hello everyone, 24 more days. It's a beautiful day today. It's gonna to get a little bit warm. I am not going to go do a whole lot of trekking uh, today, mile-wise or up and down. I don't wanna get really sweaty and I don't be wear bright colors. Uh, the bees are out today. When I wear bright colors, they like to land on them and I inevitably get stung and I hate that. So anyway, um, we're getting ready to go out. I am going to try trekking down to the platform because today I want to do a little bit of a talking on the way down because I'm using my air pods here and I think the they have a better recording. I don't know. I can't hear myself because I have the noise blocking thing on right now. So uh, if that big compressor behind me starts to turn the big refrigerator that's in this barn on, then it gets really loud. So anyway, I'm rambling, aren't I? Let's get busy. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with uh, the equipment today. I'm gonna put this as a breastplate instead of the GoPro and check it out. I, and I'm also working with that, that new computer I have. I'll tell you more about that a little later too. Here we go. We're on our way down to the platform. I was going to try to hook up this as a like the GoPro with my with my little harness but I couldn't find all the parts I'm a little cluttered I, I need to fix that but uh, we'll, we'll use this on the way down and that's a good thing so let's turn this around and talk about where we're at. This reservoir serves as a, a big service uh, for the farm when it gets really hot. It's used a lot to irrigate this lower area of persimmons and Miwok kumquats. Also, there's a whole lot of uh, Meyer lemons down there right now. We're on our way down to the platform to do a few yoga moves and I wanted to talk about what I heard on the news about all the people in the COVID world, people, I mean post-COVID, who were tied up and found that they were drinking or using something a little more than they should be and are trying to find a way to get themselves back to normal again. And 15 years ago, I had a real problem. And somehow, I think through some courage and being honest with myself, I found a program that worked. But on top of that, I think the biggest thing was exercise. So I just kept with the exercise and it really made a big difference. So that's pretty much what I've been doing for 15 years to kind of keep myself doing what I'm doing. I'm going on 70 years old. I trek 5Ks five or six times a, a week. I have a huge list of medications that I used to be on. And the only thing I take now are medications my doctor recommends to control my cholesterol and what I need to be who I am today. So that's kind of what I was talking about and maybe we'll have a future conversation about that if I get comments or people want to talk about being in recovery but I think it's an important subject not too many people talk about it especially old transgender senior women that's kind of weird isn't it <laughs> okay, we've got a little bit further to go, 
and the routines I'm going to show you today are really, really simple. Uh, and the reasoning for the sticks, I think I had that on a previous video. I had a friend using the using the camera and he had his finger on the lens and I had to edit that out and it was just a real sorry job of editing with the iPhone. So maybe I can do a better job. And all those earlier videos, I have to leave them there. I, they are a learning process with this YouTube channel. I also learned that you have to take anything that says you violated a right of somebody off the air. It just don't work. I, you know, I thought just putting on my radio and trekking to the playlist that I have on YouTube would be okay, but no, that doesn't really work. And you get these notifications and then nobody watches it or it doesn't get published or whatever. Only your friends can see it, I guess. But that's okay. I took them off. <laughs> you got the playlists on my YouTube channel anyway. Just look at the playlist. And if you're interested in doing 128 beats per minute as you walk, you'll do a 5K in about 58 minutes. So this guy is out there being a dog in the dog's world. We're going to do, she's after squirrels. Uh, boy, she can get them too. Oh, no, it's the water. There she goes. She's gotta swim. He's part otter. Here's where we're going to work today. I gotta clean it up a little bit and I'll set it up. We're gonna do three moves today. Hi, this move is a good exercise for balance and also to help coordinate some of your, uh, the moves and muscles that you haven't used in a long, long time. And you can do this outdoors. You don't need a chair. You just need your sticks. It's a good way to keep walking and stay healthy at in age. So here's one of the exercises you can do. You don't need to be out here in the wilderness to do that. You just can do this anywhere. You can have the rubber tips on your sticks if you're concerned with your flooring. But if you're outside, I like the carbon tips because in case something is, I need to, bite into it it's there so here's the first thing put the sticks out in front of you and with your right foot you're going to go in out 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 in you can repeat that several times with your left foot. Do the same thing. In, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. In, out, and back. You can want to repeat these exercises as many times as you feel comfortable with. The next one is going to be rotating your foot in a circle. That's a little bit more challenging, you think. So we're going to do that by putting our foot in the middle of these poles and try to go around in a circle clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stop. Go the other way. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that is looks like it's pretty easy. Give it a try. It's not quite as easy as it looks. The left foot, same thing, clockwise. One, two. Oh, my left foot is not listening to my brain. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, okay, let's go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
it. Now that left leg is not working all that good. So I'm gonna work on this leg probably a little bit more today. Um, maybe it's my hip. Probably my hip's not acting right lately and I haven't been doing enough exercises with it. So I'm gonna try to work on this exercise a little more today until I get it smooth and not jerky. Okay, that's a good one. Those are a couple exercises that you can work on with balance. It does a little bit more why, we, why I call it stick yoga. Because while you were concentrating going in and out, you're also balancing yourself with your hands. So you're using sort of the top part of your body at the same time. You didn't know that, but you were. This is power trekking, slow motion. I'm actually using my arms to not only stabilize every step, but to give myself a push on the exit of the stick. It's similar to swimming. Your arms are usually moving at about half the speed of your feet when you're swimming in the water. You're kicking quite quickly, but your arms are going a lot slower. That's sort of what syncopated trekking is all about. And I do it with music. It makes it a lot easier. The downbeat is always one of the arms that are clicking on the ground with my sticks. You look a little dirty and you weren't swimming, did you? Yeah? Yeah? I love that tongue. This is one of my favorite tangerine trees on the farm. It's called Golden Nugget. posted a video of some of these guys and gals. I find one that's had more sun than others. It's a little more on the ripe side. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, that's mine. Look at that. It's called a golden nugget. No seeds, none at all. Another week and it will be spectacular. It's good now, but in a week, oh boy.
Oh my goodness, these fig trees are going to be loaded this year. They're huge. It's not as big as the one up by my little place, so that's going to be a lot of figs. And all the birds around here will be very happy.